What's going on you guys? It's George. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today we are at the Salvation Army, Sally's Boutique. That's what I like to call it. Whoa. I'm here because first off, I have not been to a thrift shop since before the quarantine. And guys, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me along on this YouTube journey. I would love your company. If you're not new, then you know that I absolutely loved thrifting. Whether it's for antiques, vintage finds, clothing, like you name it, I absolutely love going vintage shopping. And what better place to do that at than the Salvation Army? So my goal today, guys, as you've seen the title, I'm looking for vintage Tommy Hilfiger stuff. I always come across Tommy Hilfiger stuff at the Salvation Army. The only thing is the prices are kind of ridiculous. Not gonna lie, I don't know what's going on with the Salvation Army, but all their Tommy Hilfiger stuff is like, listed for higher prices than what you find at the Tommy outlets on clearance or even just at the Tommy outlets period. period. I, blows my mind, but today is Wednesday and usually the Salvation Army has like half price everything minus one color because they tag all their items a color um, on like the price tag and Wednesdays everything's half off except for one color. So I'm hoping that this location does that. I'm not sure if it's all Salvation Armies, but I'm at a I'm in a very interesting one, guys. Never go to this one, because honestly, it kind of smells like piss. It's gross. Thank God that we're still having to wear masks in PA, because this is going to come in handy. Probably going to keep this around whenever I want to go in this place, because uh, yeah. I also stopped and got myself a coffee, because guys, I have zero energy. Today is just a day where like I need to get out of the house. I've been working from home, um, dealing with a lot of personal stuff, and I needed to get out and do something for me. So I'm at the Salvation Army. What the heck? What? My goal is to try to find as many Tommy products as possible. We're going to laugh the prices. And if there's anything that I actually like that is fair priced, I will be getting. So keep watching. So this is the atmosphere of the Salvation Army that I'm at. Some goodies right there. And also another goodie girl. This is a polo. Guys, I'm kind of liking this. It has the vintage Tommy emblem right there. $3.99 and it will be 50% off that. So I think I like this. It's kind of obnoxious, but it's summer. You know this isn't Tommy, but look how beautiful this Nautica polo is. This is sick. Look how old school this Abercrombie Fitch shirt is. Sleeves. Most importantly, that beautiful stain. So now this piece, on the other hand, I love. It's definitely not 50% off, but you can tell this is old, Tommy. Or was that sewed on? There's nothing on the chest. Because I'm thinking this is just somebody made this. This is kind of cool. This is a Adidas long sleeve. I love the sleeve. But the white part looks a little too worn out. All right, so this is the third Tommy Hilfiger item I found. That is quite hideous. I don't even know if I can make that work. Oh my God. I don't know. What the heck was J. Crew ever thinking? Oh my God. I'm not even joking, it's J. Crew. This movie was everything. I used to love this movie, you guys. I see one here. Oh my god. This is so 90s. Honestly, I'm definitely getting this. What an experience, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, this Salvation Armor is not that bad when you're wearing a mask. Because when I tell you it smells bad in there on a normal basis, it smells pretty bad. Pretty sure this video is going to be demonetized because how much music they were playing inside the store. Horrible music, by the way. <laughs> Nothing good. But on a good note, I spent $7.47. Now, I didn't buy everything that I was showing you guys because, well, their, their fitting rooms aren't open. And I normally, I, I dread trying stuff on at... Salvation Armies and Goodwills and whatnot because I don't know how they take care of their clothes. I don't know how thoroughly they clean them. 
Um, but I, I do sometimes for videos for the video sake, but uh, today I did not and I'm, ha I'm not complaining So I did pick up three items and two of them being Tommy pieces one of them being just something that I wanted and you guys this button down All right, first off, this isn't even that cute, but I know this is a vintage Tommy piece This is so 90s and I know that because there's like little details on it like right here and the velcro of it all like Nobody makes Velcro stuff anymore, which I'm happy about. Uh, but yeah, like you could actually tighten the sleeve if you wanted to with the Velcro. And on the pockets, to close the pockets, got the Tommy logo right there. But you also close it with the Velcro. This is sick. This is an old, authentic Tommy Hilfiger piece. And I love it. I love it, guys. This was actually $4.99. Got it 50% off that. So like $2.50. Steal, right? And I also picked up this polo, guys. I don't know if this was a good idea or not because this isn't even that cute. Um, it's just very loud and it's not really my style. But I felt like maybe this with some like khakis and cool pair of shoes, I can make it look. If I do end up styling this, guys, and I wear it, I will make sure I take a picture from Instagram. Which, by the way, my Instagram, at George Chirag. Give that a follow if you'd like. But let me tell you, this is a very odd Tommy Hilfiger piece. I've personally never seen one like this in years. Um, I love when Tommy logos look like this, like the emblem, I don't even know what you want to call that, the crest of Tommy. I love it. And um, this was $3.99 with 50 off, so love. Everything I got 50 off, so pumped about that. The last piece was just a basic jean button down. Guys, I love myself a good jean button down. I mean, just throw this on over a tank or just a regular t-shirt. I wear them all the time. You probably see me wearing like jean button downs on, my, on this channel often, <laughs> very often, but I'm not sorry about it because it's just like my go-to comfy like throw on. And this is a dark denim, which I don't have. I have like light wash denim. And this was by Premier International. And I have no idea who they are, but I got your shirt guys for $5.99, 50 off that. Live, we're sliving, we're sliving the house. Um, I use antibacterial, but I'm gonna use more because I touch those clothes. Yeah, you guys, that's the thing about like shopping during this quarantine. I just don't know how to keep clean. I'm like, my hands are so dry because how much I've been using antibacterial, and I'm not even out shopping a lot. And I don't want to promote people like anti-social distancing because, guys, number one, wear your freaking damn mask. Don't be stupid. But that's what I found, guys. That was my Tommy Hilfiger vintage shopping experience at the Salvation Army. There are tons of Tommy finds that you'll find thrift shopping, and that's what I love. The fact that Whenever I go to like a Salvation or a Goodwill or you name it, just like any like local thrift shop, I always find something Tommy and they're always like different pieces. So I'm happy with what I got. If you guys have a favorite, sign off in the comment section down below. Before the outro, you guys, I was on my way home and I seen that my neighbor was tossing out two telephone desk chairs. I'm not sure if you're like familiar with what they are, but basically like back in the day when there were landline phones, people had to like sit and talk because like the phone was corded. And that is exactly what this is right here. So I nabbed one. I was like, you know what? You can't just toss this. Those are like extinct. So I am thinking about refinishing it, like repurposing it and making like a cool little piece for my house and just like making my style and have fun with it. So I'll probably dedicate another video for that. But you guys, I'm really pumped. I, I kind of always wanted one of these pieces because, you know, like... We have cell phones, like there's no need for them anymore. But look how sick this is. Like you sit there and the phone would usually be right there. You can put like magazines. That used to be for phone books. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. That'd be much appreciated. Goes a long way. Share this video and share the love. Also hit the notification bell because I upload videos multiple times a week. So you might as well follow me on this YouTube journey. And my Instagram again is at George Shira if you want to follow me on there. But until next time, say thanks give compliments and think positive and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.